Hey guys, this is your host Eric. Today we are going to watch action genre movie called Gemini Man. Spoilers ahead, turn on your subtitle, I greatly appreciate your support. Enjoy the video. The film begins with a professional sniper named Henry Brogan hiding out in the Belgian countryside, preparing everything before pulling the trigger to kill a suspected terrorist, Valerie Doof, who is having a good time on a moving train, is assisted by another Dia agent Marino, who keeps informing Henry about the current situation on the train. When he is ready, a girl appears and prevents him from releasing the bullet. After she's out of sight, Henry fires, and the bullet appears to hit the target just as the train enters the tunnel. After the event, Marino tells him that he was impressed with the shot because it hit the target exactly in the neck. He even records the incident on his phone, which Henry orders him to delete immediately after the assassination. Not long after being visited by Del Patterson, Henry feels remorse and decides to retire from the dangerous job because it keeps haunting him before sleep. He tells him how one wrong move could have ended the innocent girl's life and expresses his retirement plans to him, hoping that he will find peace in not killing another person. He then rents a boat and meets Donnie, an agent dressed as an administrator. He uses the boat to catch up with Jack, who later reveals that Domo was a molecular biologist, not a terrorist. It turns out that the file Henry read about him was tainted, so he demands to speak with Jack again, citing informant Yuri in order to clarify everything. Meanwhile, Dia director Janet Lasseter and Gemini CEO Clay are bugging the encounter and the entire conversation. Burrs, realizing that Henry may be privy to classified information, Clay joins forces with Lasseter to eliminate the sniper, fearing that he will pose a threat. Back to Henry, he notices something strange on the boat and discovers a wire plug. He confronts Donnie right away, suspecting her of being Dia's backup spy. She denies the accusation while answering his question. Smooth, Henry admits his mistake and apologizes. After that, he invites her to dinner. Henry eventually discovers Donnie's true identity, which turns out to be one of Dia's. Agents of S. She is taken aback and admits to being Dia. They split up after dinner because Donnie says it might be their last encounter later that night. Back quote, Jack's boat is invaded by Lassiter's henchmen who kills Jack and his girlfriend. Soon after, Henry awakens from his slumber, realizing that someone has broken into his home. He warns Marino to leave his house immediately, but it is too late. When he hears him being killed over the phone, he prepares himself and goes to Danny's house. He comes to the conclusion that she is not involved in the operation. As a result, she could be in danger as well. Donnie now goes to the harbor to look for a boat, where she is attacked by a mercenary. However, she is not to be underestimated, as she defeats the man while obtaining information about his scent. Not long after Henry arrives at the harbor, Donnie informs him that Lassiter sent the killers, and they decide to work together to escape the next day with the stolen boat. Henry is still unaware of what is going on while waiting to be picked up by Baron Henry back, quote, S old friend. Meanwhile, Clay is dissatisfied with Lassiter's performance back, quote, S men back, quote. As a result, he informs her that Gemini will handle the sniper from now on. Henry contacts Dell, who reveals that Gemini and Lassiter are the perpetrators and that he lacks the authority to stop them. It turns out that DOMA was once one of Gemini's back quotes. Clay is forced to make a move after S researchers kill him. Donnie informs Henry that Gemini is a paramilitary organization that specializes in kidnapping and torturing. Clay's specific target varies, who turned out to be Henry X superior, and they tried to hire him and Baron to join Gemini, but he was turned down. The trio then travels to Columbia, where the sniper informs them that he has a history with Clay. When Henry wakes up the next morning, he notices another sniper sneaking across the adjacent rooftop. He distracts the sniper, allowing Donnie and Baron to flee safely. After exchanging shots, he quickly realizes that the opponent is known as Junior. Junior, who looks exactly like him but is younger, surprisingly possesses the same skills as Henry in acting as his doppelganger. As a result, Henry finds it difficult to defeat him. Henry tries to flee on a stolen motorcycle, but Junior pursues him from behind, also on a stolen motorcycle. Junior hits Henry and he falls off the bike just before Junior attempts to kill him. The local police arrive and arrest Henry, while Junior manages to escape thanks to Donnie, who releases him not long after the incident. Henry and the team travel to Budapest to meet Yuri Delbach, quote as informant, to learn more about the current situation. They're on their way. Donnie notices Junior's back quote's resemblance to Henry, but he refuses to believe that he is his child or whatever it is. Junior, on the other hand, returns to Clay's house to treat his wound. The kid is impressed by Henry's ability, but he is unaware of their resemblance, particularly in the face. Clay tries to calm him down by reminding him of himself. Quote ease his adored son. Following that, the CEO shows Junior Gemini the mercenary's training session and sends him to Budapest to continue his mission. Donnie greets her asterisk connection and Nico upon arrival and hands over Junior's DNA samples for testing. 
She later informs the other that Junior is, in fact, Henry's clone, because they share the same DNA. This fact perplexes Henry. The trio meets Yuri at his place, where he reveals that Dav worked on Gemini's cloning project back quote. It is also revealed that Henry participated in the experiment, according to Fury. Henry was sent to kill D.O.M.A. because he made a breakthrough. However, Clay and Dab disagreed because Clay desired a clone soldier without conscience who was in pain. As a result, D.A.V. left the project. They then move on to the next strategy. Henry dispatches a messenger to blackmail Lassiter, who reads her daily routine and makes her. Following that, he calls Lassiter and bargains with her, telling her to bring Junior to him in exchange for Donnie Backwood as protection. They agree on the terms, and Lassiter schedules the meeting for that night. Junior approaches Donnie alone in the garden and examines her to ensure she is not wearing a wire. He violates the agreement, then leads her to a tunnel, ordering Henry to meet him there if Donnie is to survive. Junior arrives and places a grenade trap at the entrance. Henry manages to sneak in and avoid the grenade. He traps Junior and freezes Donnie. He has feelings for Junior and refuses to kill him, but will do so if necessary. He reveals to the child who Clay truly is, as well as the true identity of Junior back quote. Junior still doesn't believe him because they have the same allergies to bees and the empty feelings of not killing someone. As a result, Henry is compelled to reveal the truth. He tells Junior that Clay took his blood 25 years ago and used it to create Junior to take Henry's place. The child begins to hesitate, but he refuses to accept the truth. They then fight once more. However, Henry forbids Donnie from shooting Junior. Before Donnie intervenes, the kid nearly kills Henry. Junior flees, while the others rush to Georgia to confront Clay. Junior returns to Gemini HQ and forces Clay to reveal the truth. He does tell him, revealing that the lie was necessary for him to grow. As predicted, he also says sweet things to him like, Daddy loves and cares for his son. Junior appears in poisons as soon as the trio arrives in Georgia, Henry with bee venom, which he is allergic to but later neutralizes with EpiPen. The child believes Henry and decides to join forces with them to bring Clay down. Henry tells the child about his personal life and history. As they drive to a nearby town, he encourages him not to continue living his unhappy life and to find a good life purpose. Clay calls JR and tells him to get out of the car. A tank appears to have been waiting for them and fires a missile at their car. Baron is killed, but the others escape by jumping out of the car. A group of Gemini back quote as soldiers arrives in town a few moments later, ready to ambush them. A masked soldier appears and begins shooting them with a machine gun. Henry and Donnie work together to eliminate the soldiers one by one. They are eventually cornered. Donnie is shot in the leg and they're out of ammo because the soldiers keep coming and they decide to hide in a house. Meanwhile, Junior confronts his adoptive father and tells him to stop attacking. Clay tells him that killing Henry is necessary. But Junior eventually refuses and attacks Clay. He eventually knocks Clay out and runs to assist Henry and Donnie. He arrives on time and dispatches the advancing soldiers. After eliminating everyone, the armored and masked soldier confronts them and shoots them with a specialized weapon. It's a three-on-one match, and the soldier is immune. Surprisingly, the soldier is also fireproof. After Donnie attempts to burn him down, Junior grabs the weapon and begins shooting at him ruthlessly. They remove the soldier's mask until he is taken down, revealing that he is another clone of Henry, but at a younger age. Clay regains consciousness and discovers the others. He tells Henry that he should be flattered because he was the catalyst for all of this. He informs them that the true goal of creating Gemini is to create perfect soldiers who are immune to pain and fear. As a result, no more Americans will die as a result of wars. Junior points his gun at Clay, attempting to kill him, but Henry intervenes because he does not want Junior to experience the same remorse and trauma that he has from killing people. He grabs the gun and murders the CEO. The Gemini program is then terminated, and every clone is dealt with. At the end of the film, Henry meets Donnie at college, where Junior has changed his name to Jackson Brogan, which is Henry's mother's name. S. Maiden name is now his official identity, and he plans to pursue a career in engineering. We really appreciate you watching. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel with the notification bell because it is really important for us. Thank you.